Hey guys, I just want to make a quick note before the video begins. Open Broadcaster software would not allow me to do a full screen capture using the Oculus Rift for some reason of this particular demo. However, I was able to do a full screen monitor capture in 1080p, which I've included at the end of the video. So you can look at that to see just how high quality the 3D scan actually is. What's up everybody, Charles here. It's Tuesday, August 6th, 2013, and today we're going to look at a virtual lady. Now, this I believe this demo is made in Unity by Lee Perry Smith. He's the director of Infinite Realities, who specialize in 3D scanning services. Now, if you're into video games, you're probably familiar with their work and just don't know it. They worked on the original Dead Island trailer, that emotional one where everything went in reverse. They worked on the uh, Mass Effect 3 Take Back Earth trailer. And most recently, I believe, they worked on the Cyberpunk 2077 uh, trailer for CD Projekt Red. And so they also, you know, they do 3D scans of people. That's what they specialize in. And this model is Josh, uh, Jocelyn Brooke Hamilton, which if you decide to look her up, I suggest not doing it at work because she does do artistic nudes. You might not want that popping up on your computer. So we're just going to jump into this. I actually have gone through this demo before. I've probably spent the good past hour trying to figure out how to record this with open broadcaster software because for some reason it won't recognize this as a as a game capture. So right now I'm doing a window capture which hopefully will turn out okay. At worst I believe it'll just be a lot of blank space but hopefully you still get the gist of it because I've been failing it with this forever and I just want to do it. All right, so I guess we'll start at our feet. We're just gonna move up because this is by far the most futuristic thing I've probably experienced thus far. Not only is the the human model the best I've seen, probably, but it's just crazy. And also, the first time I used this, the hit tracking wasn't working for some reason. So I've actually haven't done this properly with hit tracking. So I might be a little off with the controls. Now you can just see the detail, like you can see veins, you can see wrinkles from where her foot's in the shoe. I have to look at my keyboard here. When I was testing this early, I accidentally had a button that entered some kind of weird calibration mode and I had to exit the demo and lose all my progress. All right, sorry, right, we're gonna move up here. So you can see freckles. You can just see the detail. You can even see stubble. Now, I'm obviously looking at this through the Oculus Rift, so I'm getting the low resolution screen door effect. But you guys should be getting a high definition version. I actually looked at this uh, just using my monitor so I can actually see the proper, the proper quality. And again, I'm not used to using this with head tracking, so my controls, I'm also not used to using a keyboard without looking at it, so. So yeah, here's the model. So yeah, you can just see, see, you can see the stubble, that's crazy. So I don't know how she feels about that, but. <laughs> it's just an incredible amount of detail here. I like the I like the environment that he created here. Kind of futuristic city ish. It's very cool, I like it. Can I read that tag? Is that tag readable? I can see text. I wonder if that's readable in high def. Cause that'd be pretty cool. Like when I was looking at this earlier, you can even see like individual eyelashes. I believe that for human scanning, they use 115 DSLR cameras to get their scans. 
And he's also the creator of this said he's working on more demos to release. Now, depending on how much the amount of nudity those might have, I'm not sure. I might not be able to post those on YouTube. So I'll post them on my website though, charlesallenrantliff.com. If he, depending on the content, I might have to do that. Yeah, by far the most futuristic thing I've I've done with the Rift. Because you can, I mean, I don't have to go into detail. You can imagine the possibilities for this technology. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. There's not a lot to do in this demo, so. Actually, how high can we go up? Like, will this just go on forever? I don't want to find out, it'll take too long. Okay, now out of respect for Jocelyn, the model, I'm going to look away from her when I go into this next part because it's inevitable. I mean, when it comes to this technology and especially 3D human scanning, you know what everyone's thinking about. They're thinking about virtual porn and virtual sex. And you know, the possibilities are out there now. We're starting to reach that point. This is just the very beginning. And I mean, you could just imagine companies investing into scanning technology and then starting subscription websites where you pay you know fifty dollars a month or whatever and they'll give you a new demo of a girl every week for you to look at and then eventually you reach a point where you can start animating the models and they can implement motion capture and all that and you can interact with them and then you know throw in a, a USB powered Fleshlight or something, and you can have a and have it move uh, rhythmically with a virtual model on screen, you know, and you're there. So it's fascinating to see this beginning. I look I look forward to the inevitable controversy. Should be exciting. Either way, it's going to be entertaining. And there's that one company I forgot they changed their name. Wicked something that they're actually working on a virtual sex thing. And there's another, there's a Japanese like anime character demo or something. There's someone in NeoGap that actually bought a device, a sex toy that you use that I guess moves in pulsation, uh, pulsation with the anime girl or whatever. I have to look more into it. Maybe I'll post a link because he actually reviewed it in the Oculus Rift thread on NeoGAF. So I'll post a link to that. I'll post a link to infiniterealities.com and you can see the work they do there. Because they do, they do really good work. It's very impressive what they have going on. And I think that about does it. Um, I, just, I just didn't want to talk about that while looking at her because it felt rude. Yeah, here's here's one last look. And hopefully this will come out okay with window capture. I think I'll be uploading this tonight. It shouldn't take too much editing. Yeah, that's it. I will see you guys soon.